<laughs> okay, the shoot. Short <laughs> listening. GB, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. So last week, Flutterwave announced its expansion to India. When you're considering a new country to expand to, what factors do you look at? One would be more customs. We follow our customer journey at Flutterwave very, very deliberately, right? We look at the flow of for our customer, we look at where all the market that customer was scale and exit in, and then we have to be there for that moment. If you notice in our remittance scale as a company, we don't even know sent up a couple of years ago, I'm talking like a year ago actually. And that product is scaling massively, right? But if you look at it, there's a massive corridor between Africa and India, we're trying, we're trying to cover. And with the India expansion, we'll be able to allow our customers in the UK, similar to India, in a flash, right? Be on the UPI infrastructure, we have our partner back in Indusin back in, in India. And the goal really is to ensure that we're able to build a great product that leverage on that infrastructure, right? With Nabil, that we have a lot of SMBs and enterprises who won't will, get paid from Nigeria and they're in India, right? Or from anywhere, anywhere in Africa. We follow with India corridor infrastructure now, that is now possible. That is easier thing for them to make happen. Okay. Now, what is your vision for Flutterwave in the next 10 years? That's a long time. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next 10 years, we want to be a true, a true player on the tech and and finance world for the hybrid Africa. And across the spectrum of our, of our user base, consumer, SMBs, large corporate enterprises, global companies, one of be that one of be say we take the Uber, it should be are you do you have following? Are you a follow wave? Wanna be a skip? Wanna be that infrastructure that every African knows that with follow wave I can get paid, I can pay everything is like I love course on that. But it goes to my payments or or all or, or my payment infrastructure needs, my cash requirements, whatever you need in Africa payments. We want to be easy for the Africa, wherever they have in the world, be it in the UK, be it in the India be it in the US, be it in Europe, it doesn't matter, or be it in Africa as well, it doesn't matter. All of be that reference point for Africa's keyword. Okay, similar to, say, the Kleenex brand in the United States, when people don't say, ah, I need a tissue, I need a napkin, they say, I need a Kleenex. You and I, when, whenever someone says, we want to do payments in Africa, they say, no, we want to flutter away, but... That's the word, flutter away, with. yes. Perfect. Now, despite co-founding and leading Flutterwave, you've also been a prominent investor, particularly in Nigeria. When you're reviewing an early stage company for investment, what things do you look for? So I, I look at the, the founder, right? The founder is very, very good at, 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 at the early stage. The founder is very important. I'm looking at how can, do you have the ambition, the know-how, the domain expertise? Do you have the market knowledge, right? And what type of Product you try to solve, right? If I have that information, that is the first thing I look out for when I'm working to invest in the problem after. Look at what are you hoping to get out of your experience here at the Kaufman Fellows Summit? The Kaufman ecosystem is a very is an amazing one, right? A lot of people that I look up to are Kaufman Fellows, right? And I want to be, you know, and I think for me, I follow him now at our scale that I level right now. We have to be able to tell our story in the right way with the right people, the right stakeholders. The Kaufman ecosystem, this event, is a perfect scenario of the right people in the right for me. Investors, founders, technology people, like I said as well, all the one place in one room, with one goal in mind. I think that's the right, you know, audience for, for what you have to speak to as well. Okay. okay, now we have a few little personal questions for you. We refer to them as quick fire questions. First one, when you were first starting your career, what did you spend your first paycheck on? Um... I gave it to my parents. Okay. Actually. Okay. Yeah. Music, what's your favorite genre? And you know, you know them. There's only one genre, Afrobeats. <laughs> Perfect. What is your favorite meal? Well, the, I don't know, I think it's plantain. Plantain? Yes, I love plantain. Fried? Fried. Yeah. Maybe with egg on the side. Ooh. Yeah. Even better. <laughs> what is one of the craziest things you've ever purchased or spent your money. <laughs> Get the shoot. <laughs> 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 